What's up, people? Uh, actually, one of the comments uh, suggested that the correct phonetic way of uh, spelling it or saying it is was up with the Z. All right, was up. All right, well, to get serious here for a moment, this is going to be another follow up to the why Windows users can't switch to Linux, or more specifically, why some, and I stress why some Windows users can't switch to Linux. I'm just going to call this video can a Windows user replace their Windows PC with Linux? The short answer, absolutely. The long answer, uh, if you know what you are doing. Let me read a f uh, two comments here to give you an idea of why I say that, and then I'll talk about this a little bit more. Okay. Dealing with Linux, and this is here at the bottom, Dealing with Linux is like enjoying a day at the DMV, the Department of Motor Vehicles. Enjoying hours upon hours to solve a problem just to find out that the solution you found does not apply to your, di to your distribution, just like when you got on the wrong line. Okay? Uh, everyone says freedom is an, not the advantage of Linux, but its biggest setback, you can download the code and modify it to your wants and needs, but that requires a lot of programming, knowledge. Few people have that kind of knowledge and experience. While that might be, might be true, and uh, you know, obviously the more knowledge you have, the easier it is to get involved with any Linux distribution, but as far as freedom goes, um, I've talked about this before. I, I think too many cooks spoil the broth. I've, I've, I've used that saying before, but all things considered, uh, I'd rather have the freedom versus not having the freedom in, in general. But I think this comment here is, this is probably relating to something where there are so many uh, Linux distributions. You know, how do you get started or which one do you choose and how do you, you know, quantify quality? among the hundreds or thousands of various Linux distributions. At least that's what I'm reading into this. Let's go to another one. And this is from the same person. Thank you, by the way, for posting your comments. I think you posted three or four, and that's fine. But I'll just read one more. Other Linux geeks say uh, the forums, I guess, meaning try the forums. I went to about five or six different ones, and they're all the same. A, <laughs> a hemorrhoidal a-hole, okay. I guess I guess maybe a troll starting with what's wrong with you noob that's easy everyone knows how to fix that uh, or the solution is written in a very advanced way that noobs like myself after all the rigmarole started thinking screw this Linux isn't worth the headaches I am going back to Windows um, I understand been there done that I didn't like some of the responses either all I can say is um, I don't know which five or six uh, forums you went to. Maybe those are all the same, but not all help forums are the same, at least not like this. Uh, some of the ones I've been to lately searching for an answer for myself, I, I think I've been fine. But sure, you are going to run into any forum uh, that may not be quite as friendly. So let me get back to the premise of can a Windows user completely switch to a Linux PC? And you know, for, for the sake of this argument, let's say that uh, Windows 8 is not appealing. You know, maybe you're not, you are not going to buy a tablet. You, you're thinking about a desktop or a regular laptop. You think Windows 8 sucks for whatever reason. What do you do? Can you switch completely to Linux? Yes. But then again, if you know what you are doing, let me, let me give you a few personal you know examples here. What I have here is Ubuntu 12.04 uh, with the Unity desktop. Now this is an LTS release, long-term support. If you are a newbie, meaning you are a a beginner, and let me just say I'm, I'm sorry for those of you who have had you know uh, non-friendly um, problems forums in the past. I created this channel because of some of the issues that you went through, I went through. And over the years, it was pretty much learning on my own with help with some friends online, trial, trial and error, experimentation. 
Uh, finally, I figured out what works for me is essentially a dual boot, not a, com not a complete replacement for Windows. But right now, I got to tell you, I'm probably lately using Ubuntu 90% uh, of the time and Windows 7, which I like better than Windows 8, you know, 10 to 20% of the time. But what you see here is Ubuntu Unity. I find this, for me at least, to be a stable product. A few modifications here. I downloaded and installed a classic menu. For, for, for new beginners, newbies, this might be easier to navigate through in the beginning, you know, versus learning the other, you know, uh, features of Ubuntu Unity. If you, don't want, if you don't want to mess with this, you can certainly try Linux Mint. Uh, I believe 13 is the LTS release. The Mate edition should be easy to navigate through. And of course, uh, I always like Zorn because at least that somewhat looks like Windows. And if something looks... Uh, if it looks to make you comfortable, you probably you are probably going to keep using it. But getting back again to what I was saying, yes, you can. But there are a few things, not necessarily absolutely everything that worked in Windows is going to work in any Linux distribution. A couple examples. Um, I tried to let's let's see. Yeah, I I tried to run my Microsoft Zune. MP3 media play. Now, Microsoft doesn't make it anymore. It was one of those, you know, experiments that failed, but it still works. It does the job. I did try a uh, software called Wine and some other things to get, to get it running. Uh, it didn't run, or at least I could not get to get it running. I gave up. So for that, I have to boot into my Windows 7 PC portion of this desktop, dual boot, uh, to, to sync my Microsoft Zune my uh, new smartphone. Uh, I tried some tweaks in Ubuntu 12.04. I couldn't quite get it to work the way I wanted to. Again, with that, I have to, I have to boot into Windows 7 to make it work the way that, that I want to. Um, if you are a hardcore PC gamer, now I am not. I occasionally play games, and the games that I, that I occasionally play with I don't think I have any games installed here right now, or at least none, nothing special. But uh, actually, yes, e e Extreme Tux Racer is kind of cool. But some games like that I just showed you are perfectly fine if I, you know, if I just want to chill out on my PC and enjoy a simple game that's not, you know, uh, graphics intensive, like say Halo game or you know Battlefield or something like that. But if you are just an everyday user. Not necessarily a hardcore gamer, although uh, nicer games are coming to Linux, high quality games. Uh, if all you want to do is get on the web, you know, uh, check your email, play your movies and stuff like that, you can absolutely at least, you know, if you don't like Windows 8 or if you don't like Windows at all, definitely give specific, and I stress specific, Linux operating systems a try. If you are a newbie, you just cannot go out and install anything that says Linux and expect it to work. It doesn't quite work that way. That's why if you browse through my channel, you'll see that I usually mention Ubuntu, Linux Mint, Zorin, uh, Linux Lite, um, a few others, I can't, uh, let's see, Pingai. Lubuntu, although Lubuntu requires some tweaking, that's a lightweight uh, Linux uh, distribution that you may want to give it a try if you're looking for something super fast but again for everyday use pick an LTS release a long-term support release those are usually going to be the most stable those are usually going to function uh, out of the box the way you want it to after and I stress after you install all of the necessary updates uh, if you are completely new to this, you may want to stick with Linux Mint or Zorin. Uh, what you see here requires a little bit more tweaking in terms of getting your you know, music to play in videos and stuff like that. It's not difficult, but it's not quite, not quite as user-friendly as I would recommend you know, to go with Linux Mint or Zorin. All right, I don't want to drag this on. So to answer the question, can a Windows user replace their PC with Linux? Absolutely, yes you can, if you know what you're doing, and that's what I do. This is a newbie channel, it's designed for 
beginners. I've been there, done that. You know, some of you, when you post your comments, you know, you may post something like, you know, dude, you sound like a noob. To me, that's a compliment because that's what I do. That's what I am here for. And, you know, for that person who had trouble on the forums where basically you were treated with disrespect, that is not going to happen here. Uh, any comment that is, um, how can I put this? Any comment that goes, that is inhuman, any comment that goes against the Ubuntu Linux philosophy, which is humanity towards others, any comment that goes against that, I'm just going to delete it. I may give a warning, but that's it. There is no place for that here. I welcome all comments, positive and negative. Sometimes I might let some extra negative comments slide by. I try to be as fair as I can, but to that person who had problems, I'm sorry about that. You are always welcome here. I learned through trial and error. I learned through experimentation. I made friends online on YouTube. If you if if you take the chance to uh, you know uh, search through the Toscast podcast and the uh, the news and nonsense reports and the Linux A team and the PCA teams, uh, those are the people. Those are the friends I've made, and I learn off them. And they who knows maybe they may learn something uh, off of me. Although uh, I continue to dual boot, I do not I do not use Linux exclusively. Some of my friends do use Linux exclusively, only Linux, and of course, you know, that being the case, they are going to know more than me. That's just, just the way it works. So if you are thinking about, you know, changing, want to try something new, completely replace Windows with a Linux distribution, you can certainly try Linux Mint, Zorin, Ubuntu. If you're stuck, let me know. Uh, post a comment or a question here. Uh, sometimes if there's uh, if there's if there's if there is an answer that you really need and I don't have an answer and you would really like an answer I will post a simple help video need help with so 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 and so and very friendly people will post at least a few answers that will maybe help you find a solution to your particular problem no matter what distribution you are using Okay, well, that's it for this one. I hope this helps out. Uh, thank you for all your comments, both positive and negative. I will accept all comments. Just, you know, try to be a little bit friendly if you can, even when you're posting a negative comment. Thank you so much, and as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future. Ciao.